hello and welcome again in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install alma linux so open any browser and then type alma linux and the first page that will be appeared this one alma linux.org so we have to click on this one so this is their official page actually so if you are thinking that why alma linux like uh, out of the many options why you are choosing this particular linux version so let me tell you uh, first of all this one is also open source and i am using this for many servers in my office actually and this particular server is uh, like really lightweight and it doesn't consume that much of hardware in the processing power so it's uh, nice actually and if you scroll down a bit you can learn more about the alma linux okay on their page uh, they provide many kind of the version from here okay on the securities and you can see this backed by so many things it's like being used so you can check all the details from here like if you wanted to check the blog you can go from here their wikipedia or their resources okay but uh, we are going to download the iso file from here so once you click on the download option it will take you to the download page like from here you can choose your cpu build like if you are doing it for intel or amd or like erm64 okay or the other options are available here you can also download the full like uh, dvd.iso version and as you can see over here it's saying that this dvd iso version it's saying effortless installation with all packages included no additional respect is required if you download this then all the packages will be installed and no additional respect is will be required if you wanted to download the boot option i mean this one boot iso then it's saying that a single network installation cd image that downloads packages over internet okay you can choose whichever you wanted to so i have already downloaded this file but you can like simply download this one so you can simply download this file so let me open my virtual box and show you how you can do this like how to install this in proper steps so i'm going to open my virtual box okay so we are on the uh, default installation page so from where we have to choose the install like uh, alma linux 9.4 so hit enter over here okay so we are inside of the like uh, installation page now so it's asking to choose the language so we have to select the language so i'm going to select the default one english and united in english as you can see they have many version of english also like you wanted to select the uk india australia canada denmark ireland new zealand okay nigeria all the options so i'm going to select the us ones so click on the continue now it's asking for the installation summary so you have to like click on this installation destination and then we have to like select this one then click on the done okay so see the notice icon is now disappeared so we are going to click on the root to put a root password as usual i'm going to give a normal password over here but if you are installing it on your computer or server then put a good password now over here it's saying that allow ssh login using this password so if you wanted to use the same password to log in your root so you can select this one and then done now we are going to click on the begin installation you can change the network and host name from here okay and the software selection you can do I'm not going to select any of this right now so let me install as you can see the installation is now completed so it's asking that um, Alma Linux is now successfully installed 
and ready to be used go ahead and reboot your system to start using it so we are going to reboot the system now so click on the reboot system now it will initiate the reboot command from the backend and now it's rebooting so if you are using the any red hat uh, version actually so you might be familiar with this but if you are not then this one is really nice actually uh, i'm personally using it in my office so in many server and it uh, like uh, do this job this particular version actually consume very less system resources that's why it's uh, one of my favorite linux distro so we are on the like inside of the welcome page you're saying that welcome to all my linux 9.4 okay uh, setup will guide you through making a, an account and enabling some feature you will have to put up to running me in no time so we are going to select the start setting now it's saying that location service if you want to allow location then you can do it if you don't want then you can disable this one then click on the next if you wanted to log in with your online account like google next cloud or microsoft you can log in from here i'm going to skip this now it's asking for our full name so I'm going to type lab and then let's say I'm typing my name over here then next now it's asking for the password now you may be asking that why we are giving password again so that time when we put the password at the installation page that was for the root we didn't create a user that time that's why you are creating a user to log in in that system so okay so i have given a password as you can see it's saying two week password try avoid common words because i have uh, inserted a numeric series that's why it's saying like this but make sure to put a good password then click on the next now it's saying that all done okay alma linux is ready to be used we hope you that uh, we love it so let's see if you love it or not so let's start the alma linux and okay so it's saying that if you want to take a tour or not so let's take yes okay now it's starting the tour you can see all the details like it's saying that all the applications it has all the features like you can use the mouse pad like this or your touch pad okay this thing is nice okay but let me maximize this thing okay so this is their menu actually how it's look like this is the desktop environment so if you click on the activities okay you will like uh, see the, there are some like desktop desktop one desktop two you can create you can work on your separate desktop okay as per your work needs uh, you can go to their application menu something like this okay you can find all the apps like system utilities and the all the other details you might be thinking that it uh, don't come with all the other thing okay like unnecessary thing this particular version is only uh, like contain some basic useful thing like calculator videos like you can see videos calculator okay to calculate videos to play your video files your notepad setting system information camera okay and a tool of this proper operating system on the utilization you can see you can see disk analyzer disk image viewer document viewer screenshot what the logs and forms that's all basic things no other extra applications are installed so if you go to the terminal this is how their terminal look like and you can create as many tabs as you want okay so this is how their terminal look like and it's also like allow you to edit as per your preference so if you click over here then go to the preference and then 
you can see all these shortcuts okay like for new tab you have to click the shift ctrl t so let me try i'm going to try shift ctrl t and yes a new tab is creating let me press again 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 yeah it's like creating and shift w and it's now closing the tabs okay when i type shift ctrl w it was closing so yeah this is their like uh, profile so if you go to the color from here you can disable the your system color theme and you can change in whatever color you want okay so this one is nice you can even change the transparent value like if how much you want the transparency of the background if you want something like this if you prefer something like this then yeah you can use it or maybe you can enable a bit more visibility by selecting this so you can make the changes of your terminal like this okay so let me type sudo now you might be uh, seeing this message okay it's saying that we trust you have uh, received the user lecture from the lo local system administrator it usually boils down to three things first respect the privacy of others thing before you type with great power comes great responsibility so this code i love it okay so they're giving you this thing that before you go to the sudo i mean before going to the root they're giving you this three thing it's nice it's nice so let me type the password and hit enter sorry okay so we are inside of the root you can see my username is changed this is their terminal look like from here you can like control the control menu like you can control your netro card power balance setting and the other thing okay so and from here you can go to the activators it looks something like mac okay so this is their file manager look like okay so you can see it's a uh, very neat and clean like this is your home folder document download music and this is the trash okay so you can enable the hidden folder from here you can set the preference if you wanted to like change anything you can connect the other networks from here like this is your computer if you wanted to check your computer like uh, root directories then you can see these are the root directories like the all the folders so yeah you can do that you can connect to a different server from here like you can use all the protocols like if you wanted to use the ftp protocol then you can use this one for samba or if you wanted to connect a server with the ssh then you can use this it's also showing how much of disk like uh, how much storage is available on your disk actually so this one is pretty much like uh, nice if i open my setting it's also like you can see it's uh, clean and does, doesn't have that much of thing to do like you can select the background as per your choices like if i click on this background it will change something like this or maybe this one this one is looks a bit better so let's skip that so you can select the notifications from here you can search all the applications that you have okay and the other things you can create the with another user or make any changes on the current one and the other thing so this particular linux is actually my favorite because i'm uh, using it from like uh, many years now and i prefer this one instead of any other like uh, rated version like you can say centos or uh, rail okay so let me type top c okay so when you type top c as you can see it's showing you the system like utilization like uh, how much of memory is in the uh, okay like how much memory does it has how much in the swap okay how much is free you can check all the things so i hope you will like this uh, 
Linux version. Try once and see this is going to help you. So if you find any value from this video, please like this video and subscribe my channel and I'm going to see you to another video. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a nice day ahead.